the allegation, and I certainly hope that uh, the prosecution will follow this to the full extent of the law. Does it change the feeling? Uh, I mean, one of the things that she wanted was to give the RFP power to the administration. Now you have an agency in the administration that failed to tell another agency that it had rejected a, a request for discretionary funding. I mean, what does that make sense to give RFP power to the administration? The, the, at bottom, this is what's been alleged. You know, I still uh, believe in the innocence of proven guilty, but uh, if the allegations are true, then they are, that, then, then these are acts of criminals who deserve to be punished to the full extent of the law. Um, I think we also need to do a very aggressive review of the council budget process to make sure to tighten up uh, the council budget process to make sure that uh, opportunities for criminals to commit fraud are as tiny as possible. But it wasn't the and, council, yeah. just the council that fell down on the job in this case, it was the administration. I mean, was it, was it, was it a DIFTA that didn't tell the Department of Youth and Urban Community? I, I have not read the indictment, I've had it described to me, so. Um, Were well, you sure the question I understand there it. of the RFP process and of the proposed budget reforms? Was there a continued discussion today about that? Only glancing uh, discussion now. So what, what was this? I mean, the, uh, the this is shocking news that uh, council, the, the uh, council, the lawyers were describing to the council members. You know that what what relatively little they know they were sharing with us and helping the council members to understand. Did anyone ask whether there was a relationship on the timing of the speaker's announcement last week and the announcement of these indictments? The discussion here was really just to understand what went on, what these indictments were, and what the uh, and, and what you know, what if anything we know about the uh, about the continuing investigation that the U.S. Attorney's Office apparently engaged in. Well, how concerned are members about this continuing investigation? I certainly uh, am very concerned to make sure that we do everything we can to make sure the public money is being protected and that taxpayer money is not being wasted or worse embezzled. And uh, I think the facts alleged in the indictment suggest that we need to do more. Were you aware that the staffer, that, that his chief of staff was so closely associated with this nonprofit? No. I didn't hear the comments. So that essentially was the comment. I, I didn't hear it. Okay, in your office, do you think it's more, you know, more up to you and to your staff or up to the agencies to do that in these particular groups? 